Hello, I am Mahi, and today I will be presenting our new technique for visual imitation. To begin, what exactly is visual imitation? Human interactions with their environment are rich and meaningful. These interactions can be a great source of data when we are looking to automate any task. Here, human data is collected by cheap picture grabber tools with a mounted GoPro camera. Let's take the task of door opening. How do we take a few demonstrations of humans opening doors like these and use that to train a robot like this to do the same? Given a handful of demonstrations, our framework can open cabinet doors like this using only images from the robot's wrist-mounted camera. Our work differs from previous approaches in learning from visual demonstrations in a fundamental way. Previous approaches like behavioral cloning tries to learn how to take in an observation like this image and predict a robot action like a translation vector. These models were trained end-to-end -end with a supervised training loss. End-to-end -end learning means that these models conflated to two related problems, learning a good representation of the visual observation and learning a behavioral policy on those observations. This conflation meant the models required a lot of data, complex priors, or complicated models to perform well in real-world tasks. We, instead, break our model into two simpler pieces. First, we train a visual representation given the observations. We use self-supervised learning to do so. Next, we use nearest neighbor from our training data to our observation in the representation space to figure out the action. We can split up our model into two phases. In the training phase, we learn a visual representation from our training data. In this work, we use Bootstrap Your Own Latent, or BYOL, to do so. In the execution phase, we use nearest neighbor in the representation space to figure out our actions given any observations. We use locally weighted regression to figure out the current action given actions from the nearest neighbors of our observation. We call this method visual imitation through nearest neighbors, or VIN in short. To get it to work on the real world, we first collect some demonstrations. On the left, you can see a volunteer collecting a door opening demonstration in a kitchen using a reacher grabber tool. Our volunteers collected 71 training demonstrations on different doors for a door opening experiment. On the right, you can see what this demonstration looks like from the GoPro's point of view. For observations, we extract the frames from this video. And for actions, we use an off-the-shelf structure from motion method. Let's see how this model works during execution time. During execution, the robot takes an observation from the camera attached to its wrist. Then, using the representation from the observation, the model finds similar observations in our training dataset. We take the associated actions from those observations and perform locally weighted regression to find the robot action. We execute this action on the robot to reach a new state. We repeat the same process to get a new observation and the associated actions and repeat until we are done. We run this experiment on several cabinets. In the inset box on the bottom right, you can see the robot's point of view as well as a predicted action from the model. Our method using the same policy works in different cabinets under different lighting conditions. We find that our method, VIN, succeeds at a much higher rate than previous methods in opening different cabinet doors over many trials. We wanted to see how well VIN does in situations that it has never encountered before. To evaluate this, we run it on cabinets that we visually modified. VIN can successfully open cabinet doors until certain degrees of visual modifications. However, it may fail as in this case when we have taped over all the visual landmarks and removed the cabinet tape, tags, handles, and holes. Even then, VIN performs much better than our strongest baseline in generalizing to this visually modified setting. We also tried VIN in some offline tasks, namely pushing and stacking. We can see that our visual representation extractor can find semantically similar demonstration frames through a nearest neighbor search. 
we find that Vin achieves a better MSC loss compared to our baselines on these offline tasks. This is our method, Visual Imitation Through Nearest Neighbors, or VIN, and you can find our paper, open-sourced code, and all of our data in the link shown here. Thank you!